The old trawler, the salty dog, sliced through the placid water, its hull cutting a path through the glassy surface. Sunlight glinted off the surface, creating a dazzling display of light that danced across the waves. The air hung heavy, thick with the smell of salt and seaweed, a scent that clung to the skin and filled the lungs. Captain Murphy, a grizzled veteran of the sea, scanned the horizon with a practiced eye, searching for any signs of change. His weathered face held a look of contentment, a rare moment of peace in his long career. Decades at sea had taught him to respect its unpredictable nature. Today, however, felt different, a subtle unease gnawing at the edges of his mind. The sea was a mirror, reflecting the sky with an almost surreal clarity. It was almost unsettling, as if the ocean itself was holding its breath. Down below, the crew went about their daily chores, their movements a well-rehearsed dance of routine. Laughter echoed from the galley as Tommy, the youngest deckhand, attempted to flip a pancake, his face a mask of concentration. Old man Jackson, his calloused hands mending a fishing net, chuckled, the sound a deep rumble from his chest. The rhythmic hum of the engine provided a steady heartbeat to the ship's routine, a comforting constant in the ever-changing sea. It was a scene of peaceful monotony, the kind that lulled one into a false sense of security. They were five days out, halfway through their usual fishing trip, the days blending together in a haze of work and camaraderie. Nobody expected what was to come, the storm that would shatter their tranquil world. The first sign of trouble came as a whisper, a sudden shift in the wind. The air, once warm and friendly, turned cold and biting. Captain Murphy, his gut clenching with unease, looked up from his charts. He studied the sky. The sun, which had been blazing just moments ago, was now hidden behind a veil of dark, quickly moving clouds. On deck, the change was palpable. The playful banter died down. The crew exchanged uneasy glances. The sea, which had been calm moments before, began to stir. Small ripples turned into choppy waves. The salty dog, no stranger to rough seas, began to rock gently. Captain Murphy took a deep breath. His voice when he spoke was calm and steady. Lads, he barked, looks like we might have a situation here. Let's batten down the hatches. If you enjoyed this chapter, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our Lens of Life unframed for more content and support. The storm hit with the suddenness and fury of a wild animal. One moment the sky was darkening, the next it was unleashing a torrent of rain. The wind howled like a banshee, whipping the sea into a frenzy. Waves, now towering walls of water, crashed over the deck of the salty dog. The trawler, tossed about like a toy boat, groaned under the assault. Fear, primal and raw, gripped the crew. Years of experience were forgotten in the face of nature's raw power. Tommy, his face pale, clung to a railing, his knuckles white. Old man Jackson, his eyes wide with terror, muttered a prayer under his breath. Through it all, Captain Murphy stood firm. Hold fast, lads, he roared over the wind's roar. His voice, though strained, seemed to instill a sense of purpose in his men. They scrambled across the wave-swept deck, securing cargo, tightening lines. Every man fought against the storm, their survival depending on their collective strength. Hours turned into a blur of wind, rain, and relentless waves. The storm raged on, showing no mercy. The salty dog, battered and bruised, fought to stay afloat. Each creak of the ship's timbers, each groan of the hull, sent shivers down their spines. They were losing the battle. Then, just when all hope seemed lost, a faint glimmer appeared on the horizon. Through the driving rain, a faint light flickered, a lighthouse. The sight, faint though it was, breathed new life into the weary crew. The point, shouted Captain Murphy, pointing a gnarled finger. If we can just make it around the point, we might just have a chance. Hope, fragile as a newborn bird, fluttered in their chests. With renewed determination, they struggled to steer the salty dog towards the light. The storm, as if sensing their resolve, seemed to redouble its efforts. It was then that they saw it. A swirling vortex of water, a maelstrom, lay directly in their path, 
It was a churning mass of foam and fury, capable of swallowing the salty dog whole. Fear, colder and deeper than before, gripped their hearts. They were sailing from the storm into the jaws of death. Brace yourselves, Captain Murphy's voice, hoarse but resolute, echoed across the deck. They were in for the fight of their lives.